Thank you, Stephen. The woman who died while swimming off of Connecticut Point Beach in Warwick has been identified as 28-year-old Nicolette Viber. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni has been on scene all day and joins us now with what she's learned. Anita. Kim Shannon, uh, this sandbar and beach at Connecticut Point Park is, attracts many as it juts out into the water. Many swimmers and walkers alike enjoy that area, but it's proven to be a tragic area as more swimmers die there from the powerful cross current. Those swimming and fishing off the sandbar at Connecticut Point Beach Friday afternoon may not be aware that someone died there less than 24 hours before. Despite signs warning of the dangers, it still attracts many. There's a lot, a lot of water moving through that area at that point, so the current can be strong and it can push even the strongest, you know, swimmer. Off of the off of the bar. 28 year old Nicolette Bieber of East Greenwich is the most recent swimming victim there. The battalion fire chief says she and her boyfriend decided to go for a night swim Thursday. You know, he was just uh, taking his uh, taking his clothing off, you know, to get into the water with his bathing suit on. He looked up. She had already waded into the water. He said by the time he waded into the water, he looked around. He said she was already missing. 12 News cameras captured the moments emergency crews brought someone on a stretcher to an ambulance. Police say Bieber was pronounced dead at the hospital. Tragedy struck this area in 2021 when a 10 year old girl died after swimming off the sandbar. The man who tried to save her was also killed. It was after that when the city put up warning signs in multiple languages on the beach. I've been here all afternoon and there was a gentleman who works as a lifeguard elsewhere who actually called police because there were many children and adults swimming and fishing on that sandbar. He thinks that the signs may be more effective if they were on the grass before the sand begins. Live in Warwick, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News. All right, Stephen, thank you. An East Greenwich woman has died after being pulled from the waters off Connecticut Point Beach. This was breaking last night at 10 and 11. And today we learned 28-year-old Nicolette Bieber went to the beach for a night swim. But as 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni tells us, she never resurfaced. Nicolette Bieber is among multiple people who have died here off the sandbar at Connecticut Point Beach. And despite multiple signs, even a memorial of a past victim, they've even gone ignored or not seen by those passing by. Less than 24 hours since the death of 28 year old Nicolette Bieber, who died while swimming off the Connecticut Point sandbar, multiple people were there Friday afternoon swimming in the dangerous waters. Warwick police were even called by someone nearby out of concern. Multiple signs and a memorial for a past victim lined the paths to the beach, warning of the dangers. The current can be strong and it can push even the strongest, you know, swimmer off of the off of the bar and into water where they're going to be getting into trouble you know, a lot sooner than they would expect. Battalion Fire Chief Bill Wilson is among the many emergency crews to respond to that beach Thursday night. He says Bieber and her boyfriend wanted to go night swimming. When the man was setting up a blanket on the beach, police say Bieber went into the water, but she never surfaced. She had already waded into the water. He said by the time he waded into the water, he looked around. He said she was already missing. He had already, he had already uh, lost contact with her. Crews arrived minutes after the initial call came in. Once on scene, the chief says within 17 minutes, they found her body 200 yards offshore. 12 news cameras capturing the moment someone was brought to an ambulance from the beach on a stretcher. Bieber was pronounced dead at the hospital. It's something that you have to be cognizant of that it might be more dangerous at this time of the night than it would be during the day. In 2021, a 10-year-old girl died while swimming off the sandbar, as well as the man that tried to save her. In Warwick, I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.